Hey there, and thanks for dropping by. This crunchy pickled cabbage can be used as a side dish salad to add a punchy flavor for prepping some dishes like stewed cabbage with smoked meat, as well as for wrapping stuffed cabbage rolls. And I have the perfect recipe for those rolls in another video. Tap the upper right corner for that one. You can be very confident in this way of preserving cabbage, as this sour cabbage recipe has been tested and perfected over time since my grand-grandmother was around. Let's go! Here is what you need for a container holding 2-3 cabbages. Traditionally, cabbage is preserved in large barrels, but you can go for the small-scale version. 3 medium-sized cabbages. If you're planning to go for the stuffed cabbage rolls at some point, choose the ones that have greener and thinner leaves as well as smaller stalks. For this dish, you need to place the cabbage in one piece to have the leaves available. The variety that has whiter, thicker leaves as well as larger stalks is okay for salads or cooked meals where you're just using pieces of cabbage. 1-2 horseradish roots, peeled and chopped as you wish. 4-5 celery leaves and optional 1 quince it gives a nice color and flavor also optional is 1 red cabbage this one adds a purple tint if you like that here are your spices peppercorn 1 tablespoon 1-2 dry bay leaves dry dill flowers and stems if you can't find these you can use dry dill seeds if none of that is available for you, just use fresh dill. Here are the quantities for 1 liter of brine. You should multiply them to get as many liters as your container calls for. I used about 8 liters to fill up mine. Mix 50 grams of coarse salt without iodine for each liter of water and stir until the salt is dissolved. You need to choose a container with a large opening where everything will fit nicely or you can choose smaller jars if you only go for the chopped cabbage sauerkraut style. This might sound weird, but our family traditions calls for a clean tube to help the fermentation process in the first 10 days. You'll see in a moment why. Hang on! You start with adding the spices. So there goes the pepper, the bay leaves, the dill, as well as the horseradish root and some of the celery stems. If you're going for the cabbage rolls, you want to place it in one piece. Continue placing all the ingredients in no particular order. At some point, you want to place a clean tube inside. It's supposed to be just as long to get to the bottom of your container. It's time to add the brine now. Shake your jug to get some of the air bubbles out. Close the lid, but not quite tight. After the first three days, open the lid, take a deep breath and blow some air inside a few times. You must do this process three times at a three days interval. This is for two reasons. To make sure the salt is evenly distributed in all the brine, also to get the remaining air, hidden in the cabbage, out. After you finish with the tube after nine days, you can remove it from the jug and put the lid tight. Store it in the coolest, darkest place you have around. It should be ready anywhere between one month and a half and two months, depending on the temperature it's stored at. Hope you'll give it a try, guys! If you enjoy my video, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. And if it touched your cooking vibes, let me know by liking it. If you feel it's a keeper and you want to make it later, just save it in your playlist. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this recipe, so if you have any, drop me a line in the comments. I'll be around. Cheers!